Hi everyone, this is Erica from Kodoli and today I am really excited to introduce to you something that we have been really looking forward to and it is Kodoli's new SPF 50 Sun Care for the Face. While I am so excited and thrilled that finally we are able to bring in a sun care product to the Sephora stores in Southeast Asia, I'm even more excited that the formula of this product is just amazing and I really can't wait for all of you to try. So I am going to be talking about this new product in a lot of detail. But first, I wanted to talk to you about the sun and the skin. What the effects of the sun are on the skin and to understand this we need to understand uv rays uv radiation is a form of electromagnetic energy it can come from natural sources such as sunlight as well as artificial sources such as lasers black lights and tanning bed now the sun is the most significant source of uv radiation it is actually a product of the nuclear reaction at the core of the sun and that radiation travels to earth through the UV rays. There are two types of UV rays that reach the Earth. There's UVA and UVB. UVB rays are responsible for causing sunburn, tanning, and skin dehydration. They don't penetrate deeply though into the skin and only penetrate to the epidermis. UVA rays though penetrate deeper into the dermis and is responsible for up to 80% of free radical damage on your skin as well as wrinkles and the loss of firmness, therefore causing premature skin aging. Both UVA rays and UVB rays are cancerous. Now, did you know that there are approximately 500 times more UVA rays than there are UVB rays? And actually, 95% of the rays that reach the Earth are UVA rays, and only 5% are UVB rays. And that is because UVB rays are actually blocked out by the ozone layer and heavy cloud, while UVA rays are hardly filtered by these elements. And UVA rays can even penetrate your clothes or windows when UVB rays cannot. So that's why it's really important to protect our skin, not just from sun tanning and burning from the UVB rays, but also we have to protect our skin from the very damaging effects of UVA rays. Okay, let's give this little section a recap. Again, UVB rays do not penetrate deeply into the skin, but do cause sun tanning, sunburn, and dehydration. It only takes a few seconds to get sunburnt, but most often you are not going to notice that you have gotten darker until hours later. Best practice is to apply a sunscreen at least 30 minutes before you go out into the sun so that your skin absorbs it. Again, UVB rays are partially filtered by dark clouds and the ozone layer and they do not penetrate your clothes or windows. UVB rays damages the most outer layer of your skin. Meanwhile, UVA rays penetrate much deeper into your skin, causing your skin to age prematurely. UVA rays are the culprit of free radicals. They cause skin oxidation making your skin more dull, and they are responsible for wrinkles, pigmentation, and loss of firmness. Now here on this slide, you see an image of two twin sisters. Being twins, obviously they are exactly the same age. One of them has a job that requires her to be out in the sun the whole day. The other one stays indoors most of her days. So you can guess who is who here and you can very clearly see what kind of damage the sun does on the skin. Now here's another example, and this guy is a truck driver. He spends most of the day driving his truck. One side of his body and his face is always obviously facing his door and the window. That side of his face and his body are exposed to the sun, while the other side is obviously less exposed to the sun. And I'm sure you can guess which side is exposed to the sun. So again, this is a very clear example that sun can really do a lot of damage to the skin. While the sun is very beautiful, it really can be very damaging for the skin. And it's not just about aging or sunburn. It is actually complicit in a variety of skin concerns, such as hyperkeratinization or acne. If you're already prone to acne, then exposure to the sun is going to further irritate your skin and aggravate your acne. Immunosuppression that may lead to herpes. Now you can consider herpes as a skin concern because herpes spreads from skin to skin contact and causes outbreaks of itchy, painful blisters or sores that come and go. Immunosuppression simply means that your immune system is very low. Too much sun exposure can lead to immunosuppression. And when your immunity is very low, it could lead to a disease like herpes. Another thing is photodermatitis or sun allergies. Now this is an abnormal reaction to the exposure to sunlight or more specifically to UV rays. 
you may develop a rash, blisters, or scaly patches. Another thing that you could possibly develop is ocular alteration or cataract. This is an eye disease that is caused again by too much sun exposure. Knowing these things, obviously we are going to want to protect our skin. So what are some of the things that you do to protect your skin? Clothes do give us protection from UV rays. Then we can limit our exposure to the sun by staying in shady places. We can also wear a wide-brimmed hat or sunglasses, again, to protect ourselves from UV rays. And of course, the most important and effective way to keep yourself protected is to apply a sunscreen, to apply a broad-spectrum sunscreen that protects you very effectively from UVA and UVB. A higher sun protection factor will give you more protection. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends that we wear an SPF 30 or higher to keep ourselves protected. Now, if we're swimming or exercising underneath the sun and we're sweating, it's important that we apply the sunscreen every two hours, only when we're doing these activities because they're going to wash off. And by the way, it's very important to note there is no such thing as a waterproof sunscreen. All effective sunscreens can only be water resistant. Talking about sunscreens, let's discuss what customers actually want in their sunscreen products. I think for most customers, the most important thing is the reliability of the sun protection factor. It has to be effective and really has to give good protection from the sun, from both UVA rays and UVB rays. A broad spectrum sunblock will do this. Customers want a pleasing scent and a pleasing texture. Nobody wants a sunscreen for the face that is heavy or sticky, oily, and smells very strong. We want a sunscreen that will feel light, that will not add so much texture to the skincare that you're wearing underneath, and that will sit very comfortably and very well underneath the makeup. Customers want a sunscreen that is non-toxic, that will not clog the pores, that will not cause skin irritation, that has ingredients that are good for the skin. And lastly, customers want a product, a sunscreen that is eco-friendly. Nowadays, more than ever, customers are looking for sustainable products that will not harm nature. Now, the thing with sunscreens is that most of them contain this ingredient called oxybenzone, which is a very effective filter against the sun. Unfortunately, when you swim with a sunscreen on your body or on your face, that has oxybenzone in it, that oxybenzone will seep into the water where it is absorbed by corals. These substances contain nanoparticles that can disrupt the coral's reproduction and growth cycles, ultimately leading to coral damage. Now, even if you don't swim with your sunscreen on, let's say you're living in the city and you just apply it on your face for the sun protection, when you wash that off at night, the oxybenzone goes down the drain of your sink and through our drainage system, it will eventually lead back into the ocean and into the seas. Now you may think, what's the deal with coral reefs? Why are they important? Coral reefs are actually very vital for the biodiversity inside our oceans. They are a major part of the ecosystem in an ocean. Without the coral reefs, all of the biodiversity that it brings would disappear. Coral reefs are essential for over 4,000 species of fish as they are places for them to feed and breed. And you all know that fish are a very important part of human life, not just to eat, but they also provide a lot of jobs and fishing is a huge billion dollar industry. So coral reefs are important for the ecosystem of an ocean, the biodiversity, but it is also responsible for huge industries. In that way, it affects our economy. Tourism and scuba diving of the reefs is actually a $9 billion industry. And actually, just a couple of years ago, lawmakers in Hawaii passed a bill banning the sale of any product with oxybenzone inside it. So at this point, I'm going to show you a little bit of a video to recap what we just discussed.
And now finally, I am so happy to introduce to you our new sun care product for the face. This is our new SPF 50 called the Anti-Wrinkle Face Sun Care. It has very high protection against UVA and UVB rays and it comes in a 50 ml tube. Now let's talk a little bit about the formulation of sunscreens. In today's world, there are two options as a manufacturer of sunscreen. You can either formulate your product using either chemical filters or mineral sunscreens. If the manufacturer is using a mineral sunscreen for the product, then that is either going to be titanium or zinc. Titanium and zinc work by reflecting the UV rays from the skin. Now what's good about mineral sunscreens is that they are safe for the environment. They are safe for nature. However, mineral sunscreens often contain nanoparticles that cause a lot of white cast on the skin, making the product very difficult to apply, having a thick texture, and also they offer very little sun protection. Sometimes the mineral sunscreens will have nanoparticles that are dangerous to inhale and are suspected of being endocrine disruptors which means they could potentially be cancerous or just very bad for our health. The other way to formulate is using chemical filters. The way chemical filters work is that they absorb the UVA rays. So once you've put a product, a sunscreen with chemical filter on your arm, for example, what that chemical filter is going to do is absorb the rays for you, thus your skin is protected. Therefore, they give excellent protection and broad spectrum protection from both UVA and UVB rays. They can also be formulated with sensory textures that are very comfortable and pleasing, lightweight and comfortable on the skin. However, some chemical filters can destroy corals, such as oxybenzone and octinoxate. In fact, octinoxate is also suspected to be an endocrine disruptor. Now let me take you through the process of how Caudalie selected the filters, the sunscreen ingredients they use in the new anti-wrinkle sun care. We wanted a broad spectrum sunscreen that will really effectively protect the skin from both UVA and UVB and a mineral sunscreen will just not do that. Therefore, we went with chemical filters because of the reliable skin protection and the sensory textures. However, we really had to choose very carefully which chemical filters to use because being a clean brand and a sustainable brand, we have a very serious commitment to not use any toxic ingredients that will harm your skin or your health in any of our products. And we also have a very strong commitment to not use any ingredients that will harm any element of the environment. On the PowerPoint, you are gonna see there a long list of ingredients that are often used in sunscreens that are graded by the risk that they pose to your health. The higher the number, the higher the risk to your health. The lower the number, the lower the risk to your health. So from very long lists of chemical filters, Caudalie went through a very tedious process of selection and finally came to the decision to use four safe chemical filters. These four filters offer photostable and thermostable protection even underneath a very hot sun. All of the filters that we used are non-toxic for the skin Therefore, keeping our commitment to be a totally clean brand and are totally safe for the environment and for your health. These four filters offer the maximum, maximum protection against UVA and UVB rays. And the texture is fantastic for our very hot and humid climate. It is lightweight, the skin absorbs it very fast, and it sits very well underneath makeup. I'm extra excited about this product because it not only offers really great sun protection, but it also has an anti-aging complex. Therefore, we can say it has a dual anti-aging protection system. And so basically, there are two things at work when you apply your anti-wrinkle sun care to your face. First, you have the four filter system, which protects you very effectively from the sun. And then you have the Caudalie patented antioxidant complex. Patented meaning it is legally exclusive to Caudalie. The antioxidant complex is your anti-aging protection and it includes grapeseed polyphenols, which is the extract from grape seeds that gives you 10,000 times more protection than vitamin E. You've also got spruce extract, which has healing properties, and you've also got vitamin E itself to protect the skin from free radicals. 
Okay, let's talk about the benefits. The antioxidant in the complex blocks 48% of free radicals caused by sun damage. The anti-wrinkle properties stops 51% of collagen deterioration. The DNA protection protects against 99% of DNA deterioration compared with 69% offered by the sun filters alone. And to top it all off, there are exclusive ingredients from the grape vineyard that we love to use in all of our cuddly products that we put in this as well. There's our favorite grape water inside this product, which is clinically proven to increase the hydration of your skin by up to 92% and to decrease sensitivity of the skin by 61%. It also has our favorite grapeseed oil, which is very nourishing for the skin and helps to beautify for a glowing complexion. Our formula is non-sticky, it is invisible, it will not leave a white cast on your skin, and it's very suitable to wear underneath makeup. So you see how quickly the skin absorbed the product, very fast. The scent is so subtle. The scent is very subtle and very pleasing. The formula has zero silicone, which means it won't clog the pores, and zero alcohol, meaning it won't irritate the skin. Now at Cuddly, we really value clean beauty and sustainability, but we also really value innovation. And this product is a true innovation. It has strong natural protection. Our product is water resistant. The SPF protection is resistant to being immersed in water. It is highly biodegradable and it is non-toxic for the marine ecosystem. And this is confirmed by a test performed that our sunscreen does not prevent any algae growth. Our product is completely free from octinoxate and oxybenzone. And that's why we have the Ocean Protect Stamp on our product. So revisiting the customer expectations of a sunscreen we discussed earlier on, here is how Cuddly incorporated these four expectations. The product offers the same sun protection as a dermatological brand, broad spectrum UVA and UVB, using the filters with the best scores, safe even for sensitive skin, and alcohol-free. Invisible, non-sticky textures, 0% silicone, 0% alcohol and non-comodogenic. Filters and a formulation that is completely non-toxic and absolutely safe for any kind of skin. Filters and a formula that is absolutely safe for the environment and marine life as well. Plus, anti-aging protection from the exclusive Caudalie Antioxidant Complex. Now let's very quickly recap the important information on this product. Codley's Anti-Wrinkle Face Sun Care SPF 50. It gives anti-aging protection while fully protecting you from harmful rays and moisturizing your skin. Comes in a 50 ml tube that, by the way, is fully recyclable. A light, non-sticky cream, safe for sensitive skin, non-comodogenic, silicone, and alcohol-free. Water resistant, highly biodegradable, non-toxic for the marine ecosystem. Main ingredients are the innovative four filter system of Caudalie that protects effectively from the sun and the exclusive antioxidant Caudalie complex. Now let's talk about how to build your basket. This slide here will show you the products that you can use before, during, and after your sun exposure. Let's get into a little bit more detail. Exfoliating your skin is very important. You don't want to be applying that sunscreen on dead skin cells. You want to apply it on your actual skin cells. Our gentle buffing cream eliminates dead skin cells and moisturizes with jojoba oil and grapeseed oil. Now during your exposure to the sun, with the anti-wrinkle face sun care SPF 50, you should be using our Vino Perfect Radiance Serum underneath your SPF for an even complexion. And you can use our best-selling grape water to hydrate your skin every now and then. At night, you should be removing your skincare as well as your makeup. And the best products that you can use for this is our all-organic 
makeup removing cleansing oil or micellar cleansing water. You should also be treating your skin and our Vino Perfect range is the best to eliminate dark spots, pigmentation, and to just generally give your skin beautiful radiance. Glycolic acid is a star ingredient used by a lot of dermatologists to accelerate cell turnover and to reveal refined and supple skin. Glycolic acid is one of the star ingredients, one of the key ingredients in our Vino Perfect brightening essence when matched with our Vino Perfect Radiance Serum gives you twice the benefits and twice the effect. You should also be moisturizing your skin with a lot of antioxidants, natural antioxidants, and the best products from our range to use for this is the Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet, and for your body and hair, the Divine Oil, and for your hands, our Hand and Nail Cream. All of these contain the grapeseed polyphenol, which is also a caudalie complex. It's that extract from the grapeseed that is 10,000 times more effective than vitamin E. You should be telling your customer that it's really important to nurture and take care of the skin before, during, and after sun exposure. And let's face it, living wherever you are in Southeast Asia, you are always exposed to the sun. So it's really important that you protect your skin, but you also take care of it during all times of the day. We're gonna have a quiz after this video. I hope you listened very well, and I hope you really learned something. And once you have tried our sun care product, I hope you are going to fall in love with it as I did. Once again, it's a really amazing product, and I'm sure you are going to sell buckets and buckets or baskets and baskets of this sun care. Thank you so much for your attention. I know it was a lot, but thank you for listening and I will see you soon, hopefully in person. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye.